Hi everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be making some barrette using resin. I have used UV resin for this. Of course you could use epoxy resin, but I like UV resin because it cures so fast with a UV lamp. So I've done it quite thick, as you can see here, because I have used these artificial flowers that are also quite thick and very dimensional, so I could not do something really thin. You could if you use dry flowers. I wanted to use something a little different this time. I have also used this. This is some greenery. It's supposed to go into aquariums, you know, fish tanks, I mean. So you can use really anything. You can use also images really whatever you want, dry flowers. I have dry flowers here, these are natural flowers. So really you can use anything. For the barrette, I have used, or hair clips, you could use these as well. As you can see, it's really curved. So what you need to do when you put your glue on top is put more on the sides, otherwise there's gonna be a big gap. And since there's gonna be pressure in here, I really wanna make sure that it was going to hold very well. So you'll see in the video, I have put some E6000 because it really holds on very well. And also I have put a little bit more on the sides here. Uh, what else? So you will need a hair clip. You will need some E6000 or any really strong glue you can have. I have put on top of it, because normally it comes like this, it comes blank. I have put some white foam on top because this is the color I wanted for my background. Actually, in the beginning, I wanted to make it completely transparent. So I didn't put any uh, white into my resin, which I then thought, and you will see this in the video, it's a bit too transparent. You'll see the hair clip on the back. It was that nice, and I changed my mind. I decided to put some acrylic paint on the back, then I used another uh, coat of uh, resin, and then I glue it on here onto the, um, the, the white piece there, the foam. It's just fun foam, so it would be nice. You could use, of course, any other color for the background. If you use some resin, I would use some pinata colors. I have bought this big bottle because white is really important and it's it goes, it matches really well even though it's so opaque with UV resin. Sometimes when it's too opaque, UV resin tends to not cure so well, but with pinata, I didn't have that issue uh, usually. And I you don't need to put that much anyway because it's really um, very pigmented. So this is the color I like to use or the brand I like to use. But you can use other types of alcohol inks as well. Um, so that's it. Not much materials. Dry flowers or artificial. This is plasticky, I guess. Uh, anything will work for this if you want to have really big dimensions. I didn't cover it up, as you can see. Actually, what I will try next time is to leave even more sticking out of the resin than just these little bits. It's just maybe I should cover it up completely. Uh, I wanted to put more outside. I will try another one, maybe with a pendant this time, to put more flowers outside sticking out of the of the resin. I think it could be very interesting as well. So with no further ado, I'm not going to talk in this video no more. I've talked enough. I uh, will just put a little music on and just follow along. So grab a cup of coffee or tea, lay back and enjoy.
I wanted to tell you this. I have made an experiment because I was going crazy. I had all sorts of uh, marks on my resin and I didn't know where it came from. And you know what? It comes from the gloves. So let me show you this. I'm going to take this piece of tape. So as you can see here, it's clear. And I have put these gloves almost, I mean, maybe 20 minutes ago. They already look a bit yicky, but that's not even the problem. It's just that when you put your fingers, look at this, you have prints on the on the tape, which means that, of course, there might be some non-stick stuff to it, and I've used them quite a bit, so it's not so, it seems like it's not much. But when you use this on resin, and it just came out under the UV lamp, and you put your fingers on there using these kinds of gloves, well, you're gonna have powder everywhere. Let me show you on this one. This one I, uh, whether it's inside out or not, I mean, there's of course like baby powder in there. It's just all yicky and I was going crazy not knowing where there's this, these marks were coming from and it came from my gloves. I have all the gloves that are more yellowish color, like you can see here. They maybe don't look as great, but they don't leave marks as much. There's probably less baby powder or they don't put it outside, but there's baby powder here on the inside and on the outside of the gloves. So if you have this kind of product, I'm not gonna tell you to throw them away, but one thing you could do is just put them under your uh, tap water, clean them thoroughly, of course, dry them very well, and then you will be able to use them without being afraid of putting any kind of residue on top of your resin. And more specifically, when your resin is just coming out under your UV, UV lamp, this is the moment where it's you should not touch it, maybe for a few minutes, just to let it cool down. It can be also very soft, so this is the time to leave it alone, don't touch it, and then maybe three, four, five minutes later when it cooled down, yes, you can touch it. But very careful with your gloves. So there we are, and that's the finished product. I really, really like it. I can see here I should put another layer, a very thin layer. I like to apply this on the edges with a, just a little paintbrush. And then you put the paintbrush in alcohol or acetone, depending on some brands, to clean it up and then you put few just a minute or two on each side to make it really shiny but i really like the the look of it and it's completely unique that's what i love i don't like when people have the same thing that i do you know i like to have something very unique and you can of course adapt this to any color any type of flowers any uh, size of course and these are wonderful projects so please give me some thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. And of course, please leave me your comments below and share on social medias because this will help a lot my channel. So thank you so much. If you have any video suggestions, please also you can leave them below. And see you soon for other videos. And meantime, please, everybody, take care. Bye.